Hi there, my friend and friends. Sometimes we have headings that just break in really awkward places. And of course, it really depends on the screen size, right? That this maybe it looks fine at smaller sizes. It looks completely fine, but you get this middle ground where you just get these annoying the words just sit there. They're all on their own and it doesn't quite look so nice. And of course, this can apply to like other sizes of headings as well. And then you just get this one word that's all on its lonesome and then it's not what we want it to look like. And when you have dynamic text, you can't control where the line breaks are always going to be. You don't want to have to manually be trying to figure out these things and give hints to the browser. You want it to figure out these things on its own. So what we can do is let's say H1, H2 and H3. And we're going to do a text wrap of balance. And we're going to talk about browser support because it's not perfect, but let's just see the magic that this does where it just figures it out and it makes that look a lot nicer uh, and the nice thing is if it could fit on one line it will still allow it but when it does break it balances things out and we can actually see the same thing being applied over here with these as well uh, if you remember let's just turn that off for a second so we can see how these lines these headings were less balanced than they were before we get the word awkward all on its lonesome and then even here where you have a long line followed by a shorter line underneath it and we can come and turn this on and then it balances those out a little bit. Now, maybe you're saying you don't like the empty spaces that are coming here. Well, maybe you only want to have it on your H1s. And also right now, these line lengths are really long. So you'd probably have like a smaller max width on there anyway, hopefully uh, to make them a little bit better. And it could just help things out. And again, this depends on the use case and everything else. So maybe in some places, on some headings like your H1s you want it or on ones that have very big text you want it and on other areas you don't feel like it's needed, but it can be super useful and fix those problems you have with your headings. And as I said, I'm gonna address browser support. So browser support is far from perfect right now, uh, but obviously it will improve over time. But the nice thing with this is that the progressive enhancement, meaning if somebody is on this site and they're on a browser where it's not supported, well, it doesn't break anything. They just get the style we were trying to avoid before. Uh, but if they're on a browser that does support it, so as time goes on and more browsers support it and more people are using those browsers, well, then they get the better experience without you having to do anything extra to get it to work. And if you like this quick tip that I had right here, I've been doing these a little bit more often lately. And I put together a playlist that you might enjoy that is right here for your viewing pleasure if you do want to check those out.